funny thing about training in an RV park or in your driveway or in your cul-de-sac or in your garage is that your fitness is right up in their face all of the time. You're right in their grill, unintentionally letting them know that you're doing what you're doing. There's a, you can't be quiet about it. Like you're trying to not make a fuss or make a big stink, trying not to draw people's attention as they walk by, when they drive by, but they all look, they all are checking you out. Like what are you doing? This is an RV spot at the Outer Banks of North Carolina. The ocean is there. A quarter mile that way is the sound. People come here for vacation, which is totally cool, by the way. This is our vacation spot. But even on vacation, like, I'm just staying healthy and fit. That's just what I do. Now, to be fair, like I am a CrossFit Games athlete, so I am training for something that's more than your everyday average thing. Even if I wasn't, I'd have a pair of dumbbells out here making a fool out of myself right in front of everybody. Last weekend was Labor Day weekend. This place was packed, all jammed out. Right next to our RV, the other pad was open, which is awesome. Across the street from us were like four RVs. They were all together. They had a party every night and all day. They just laid on their lounge chairs, like drinking and just baking in the sun, like dead animals, <laughs> like during the day. And I'm over here like session one, getting it done. And then session two. And I have no problem with them like vacationing and relaxing and partying. That's totally cool. It's fine in case I didn't say that before, but I'm going to get my work done and they're just going to kind of watch and just think the hell is this guy doing? It is this funny like dichotomy. People are here letting everything go. And I'm here building myself up. When I lived in a cul-de-sac, I would train in the cul-de-sac during happy hour when everyone else was drinking in the cul-de-sac. It's just, it is what it is. And that's, I'm sure lots of you training in your garage at like 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. And like, you'd hear the barbell drop and your neighbors are probably like, man, that guy is a fanatic. He's a freak. She's nuts. I can't believe she's lifting weights in her garage. What's wrong with those people? I don't know. I'm glad I'm in the club of being kind of a freak. I'd, I'd rather be on this side than the other side. I've been on the other side. I've been flat on my back drinking beers on beaches and man just feeling like garbage i don't want to go on vacation or live my life and feel like garbage i'd rather feel good even if it costs me just a little bit of time i just want to thank element for sponsoring this video and supporting me as a master's athlete today in this crazy heat i'm going to be completing the workout murph it's one mile run 100 pull-ups 200 push-ups 300 air squats and another one mile run with a 20 pound weight vest on and I have this shaker bottle full of water with Element. I'm going to drink about half of it before I start working out. I'll be drinking the rest during the remainder of my workout. We want to get plenty of salt and electrolytes in our life on a daily basis, especially when we're working out in the heat like this. Every Element packet has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, which is the perfect ratio to top off your electrolytes during your workouts and after your workout. And what I love about Element is it's paleo and keto friendly, and it doesn't have any BS ingredients. It's just simple. Element is offering you guys a free sample pack when you use my link. It's drinkelement.com forward slash Jason Grubb. That's D R I N K L M N T dot com forward slash Jason Grubb. This last weekend was Labor Day weekend, and it was my second session on Saturday. I was doing some running. I was coming around this back corner, and this lady yelled out. She's like, hey, guy, guy, guy. I don't respond to guy, so really, she's just talking to me. I was like, oh, yeah. She's like, we're on vacation. And I was like, yeah, ha. Huh. And I kept running. And as I came back around, I was thinking like, man, I stopped. She stopped me to tell me this. So as I came around, like, I yelled out. And she was like, hey, hey, this is my vacation. And she didn't like laugh. So it wasn't really a great comeback anyway. I don't really know what it meant. Guess what it made me think of was like when I lived in a cul-de-sac or being out on the road like this, uh, just in general, those of us that are striving to get bolder, not older, this is somewhat countercultural. Actually, it's very countercultural. We're doing something that's so abnormal that it shows up in an extreme example like this on vacation where I'm just running. Like 
I'm just taking a run and it's so almost offensive to somebody that I would be running when we're supposed to be like sitting down having drinks it's a Saturday night and this is just what you do it's interesting to see the response of those around all of us when we're doing things that just aren't normal we're bringing our weights with us on vacation or we're taking a run on Labor Day weekend or we're not doing happy hour in the cul-de-sac instead we're on the concept 2 bike because we got to get our zone 2 in because we just do these kinds of things or we're eating hamburgers for dinner with no buns like the craziness of this we live a fair counter-cultural lifestyle you really really see it when you're in an environment like this especially on like Labor Day weekend if you're looking for people to cheer you on while you do this probably not gonna get it you've got to find like a place inside of you that is the place that drives you to do this you've got to become the kind of person that trains every day you've got to be the kind of person that sleeps well every night or that eats well no one's gonna applaud you or tell you how great you are more often than not you're gonna get criticized because you're gonna be kind of weird in what you're doing so expect that and plan for that and that's fine it's totally fine in the process of being bolder not older you're gonna face some obstacles and you're just gonna have to plow through you have to be your own person and get the work done every day it's about doing the small boring things that move the needle forward just know that you're not alone in this journey there's a bunch of us out here weirdos in our garages in our driveways in crossfit gyms in rv parks doing the work every day and if you need someone to applaud you and cheer you on i got your back because we're changing the way we think about getting older and if you're watching this and you're trying to decide like should i go for it should i make a change start now if you need help or guidance i'm happy to help point you in the right direction just leave me a note in the comments you're not too far gone you're not too old for this you can start at any age your best days are ahead of you you know that get bolder not older see you next time <laughs>